Wrapping up qualifying here. Let's see who's on the grid. Um, I don't think I can pull that up for Stewart because Stewart's not here. Damn it, Stewart. I'm to pee. Anyways, uh, Chance Crumb gets the pole with a 30.715. Marcus Richardson in second place with a 30.755. Bobby Chaney doing a pretty good run. Right on Richardson's heels with a 30.757. Shut with a 30.948. Anton in a 31 flats with an 028. 039 for Ducharme and an 072 for Peck, and uh, looks like either everyone else hit the wall and sucks, or really want to start in the back. Yeah, more than likely, certainly. Uh, not too surprised to see Chance Crum and Marcus Richardson up there on the pole here at Sim Racing Authority TV. Uh, now, uh, what we were discussing before, I was uh, aimlessly taken away. Slapping some hose. <laughs> Here at Sim Racing Authority TV was tire wear. The bottom line, I don't know, if did, did you go into the tire wear situation? I was gone for like a minute. I, I talked about the tire fall off over the course of a run, but yeah. nothing I mean, uh, about tire the body fall line. off. Whenever I was running an official and running the bottom line in one and two, there weren't that many long runs. So you could pit, get fresh tires, and head back through the field need be. Whereas here, we're expecting there to probably be a long green flag run in here uh, as soon as Tyler Ducharme and David Shutt are eliminated from the field. Um, and when I say eliminated, I mean it like the way it sounds. I mean fucking eliminated. Gone. Gone. Yeah, we already, uh, we've already lost one driver uh, yesterday. Um... I uh, regret to inform you that Aaron Davis passed away after complications from a crash at New Hampshire Motor Speedway where he went head-on into the wall like a moron in the spec racer Ford and uh, uh, he, he attempts to he attempts to uh, reincarnate him as a cat have failed but it does appear that his account lives on in the hands of Aaron Davis uh, so actually, thank goodness they, they, they actually haven't failed initially it was thought that they failed but uh Quick little talk with Aaron Davis. How has your transformation into a cat gone, and how do you feel about tonight's race? Meow. 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 Stay. Everything went really well for Aaron Davis, and he's out there on track. Whether he's an actual human or a cat, he's still out there. And that's what matters, right? The great uh, I don't have a damn thing or a damn clue what you said, but one thing is sure about Aaron Davis is, you know, now that he's a cat, the internet has keyboard cat, Sim Racing Authority has wreck everybody cat, so I'm looking forward to this race. I agree. The pace car is off. Crum and Richardson are going to lead the field to the green. Crum getting that advantage, able to go all the way down onto the apron here as they work their way through turn one. Richardson hanging right with him on that outside line. But Crum is going to get the early advantage as they work their way into turn one. We see Bobby Chaney there on the bottom working the inside of number 12 with David Shutt now to the inside of the number two of Richardson. Uh, the bottom, that might have been where you wanted to be for that one corner. But uh, now the bottom is probably going to get free trained by all the guys there on that high line. Or maybe not. Look at Bobby Chaney making that bottom groove work. He's going to come up right in front of the number two. Hey, okay, it's the call for Marcus Richardson. Oh my god! That was sketchy. Richardson was getting the run off of the corner, and Bobby pulled right up in front of him and neutralized that run. Marcus and Bobby both very aggressive racers. They have a lot of respect for each other. One of the things that you don't usually see out of Bobby is moves really early on, but you know, I think he feels like he really wanted to get on the high side. He was going to go way far to the back, so he. Know, decided to make that really strong move and slot in there and it looks like it's going to work out for him. He's got Marcus behind him and he's got Chance right in the crosshairs. So yeah. Chance getting away a little bit here, but uh, I just want to... Definitely a situation here. We got that master lock draft action here at Sim Racing Authority TV here tonight. Crum might still pull away. That is just how fast Chance Crum is. We saw uh, in the sprint series, I think last week actually, they were at Kansas. Richardson yes. and Crum battled it out really, really, really hard. 
really hard at the end there. And those were certainly the two dominant cars on the night. No one had anything for him as we see Marcus Richardson to the inside of Bobby Cheney to grab that second spot again. Cheney back to third, but I think his whole slotting up call was the right call anyway because, uh, well, he would be back a lot farther if he didn't slot up. Looks like the majority of the field here is kind of filtered out single file. The first uh, double file battles will be back for last. Michael McMillan and uh, looks like Fish is back there with Cameron Meyer and Trevor Fratelli. But, you know, those guys are going to fight hard for those last few spots. I agree. No one wants to be in last. And currently, the last place driver, the number 33 lot lizard machine of Matt Simpson, just working his way through the trial now. He's grown versus his way down the backstretch. Did uh, Simpson surf on the pits? Uh, whether he did or not, I guarantee you this is definitely strategy on part of Matt Simpson. He does not fancy getting caught up in an early wreck, and I guarantee you this is a strategy call by him. He does not want to be involved in anything. Let's keep that car clean until the end of the race. And No matter how hard he tries, it always seems to bite him in the ass. And it, it works for him about 50% of the time. I personally think if he would just get up there and race, unlike being instead of being a pansy, he'd be okay. But, you know, he feels like staying in the back is a good call, and it, I can't fault him. It's helping him. Yep. Win and finish really high up in quite a few races. Taking a look back through the field, your leader is Chance Crum, the number 83 Great Clip Chevy. Second is Marcus Richardson. Out. Caution's out. Eric Brantley Looks around like, the back straightaway. Yep, Eric Brantley. Yeah, did my radio sound bad out there? Wow. Brantley 86 sucks. RC Cola machine. Yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he was wrecking that whole fucking corner. <laughs> yes, he was. <laughs> Jesus. One he pitched Eric that Brantley. thing down off into the corner and got loose on corner injury and. Here he is. Spent the entire time trying to wreck it. Loose on corner entry, comes all the way down the track, doesn't realize he's loose. And then... Wow. <laughs> that is a very Eric Brantley kind of wreck right there. <laughs> you will only see a wreck like that out of Eric Brantley. Eric Brantley modified his wheel, actually. He, he took a G27, he uh. said, fuck it, this wheel is too sleek and awesome. And took a dirt car wheel and applied it to his beautiful G27. It's about twice the size of the G27 wheel, too, so uh, force feedback is basically useless. Yeah, pretty much. Crom is going to lead the field down the pit lane. We're going to head to the pit lane camera here, see who's going to get and win that. Oh, my God, this is the worst pit lane camera on iRacing. <laughs> it's really bad. Okay. Who is going to win that? Who is going to off of the pit lane? Well, while we're waiting on the pit crews with their dismally slow stops, let's uh, go ahead and note that Matt Simpson and Eric Brantley are at the back of the field again. And uh, we know what that gave us last week, so let's hope we can get it again. I agree. Taking a look at the battle off of pit lane, Richardson must have taken two tires. Yes, Richardson on two tires is going to win the battle off of the pit lane. Crum in second, third is going to be Cheney, shut fourth, fifth is going to be Robert, sixth is Connor Anton, and seventh is Alex Peck. Behind Go ahead and add a spot to all those because it looks like Cameron Meyer stayed out. Now, Cameron looks like he's got a little bit of fender damage, and if I had to guess what he's doing, he's staying out. Lead a lap, and he'll probably come down this time by, but. Whoa. Man, Dude, man if he doesn't, it's going to be an interesting shakeup. Dude, I don't know where I am. I think, I'm, I think I'm in Maryland or something, dude. Oh, God, why would you want to go to Maryland? <sighs> There's nothing wrong with. Oh, dude, this is so cool. They, like, modeled all yeah. the areas around the track, like the Hall of Fame. Oh, my God. Jesus. Well, someone's just discovering how cool iRacing is. Wow, welcome, welcome to iRacing. Wow. This is. There's an airport here. There's like a fucking. Wow. I have wow. no idea. I've Bobby uh. Bobby Cheney right there, rupturing the space-time continuum and making his way into our Teamspeak channel somehow. Huh? Through an echo. Wish your microphone sucks. Hack. I can't help it. The other one was cheap and it broke. This one's cheap because it doesn't work right. So, Taking you know. a look at the back through the field. Bobby Cheney, your leader. Second is Richardson. Third is Chance Crom. Fourth is David. Shut. This of shit, so, uh, if you guys would like to make the broadcast better, you can always give us money and we can get better equipment. Don't actually give us money for that. We'll probably just spend it on making races and making a league better first. Exactly. But, you know, if, you, exactly. if, if someone happens to stuff a mic in the donation slot, I'm not going to complain. We have a donation slot? Is it Marcus? We should <laughs> Good save. Uh, looks like the Hooters Chevy Ford, that's a Ford, oh god, Bobby drives a Ford, is uh, going to line up third here behind Marcus on the start. I don't know, maybe Marcus will pick the high side. I, I, if I had to guess, the let's leader have, would want the bottom here. Marcus Richardson, shall we? 
Yeah, it's up to you. Marcus Richardson, Sir Ronald. But sir, do you have a copy? Yeah. Taking two tires on that last pit stop, what's your mentality behind that one? Tires don't wear here, they really don't matter, so I'd rather have the track position. Uh, is the power of Nicole 337 with you right now? Do you feel that Nicole 337 is in the car right now, guiding your way around this racetrack? Somewhat. We'll uh, see you around lap 85. Just trying to take care of my tires right now. I'm not really pushing too hard. 10 4, thank you very much for talking to us, Marcus Richardson. <laughs> yep, thanks. What was that? <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Gonna be an interesting restart here. Chaney right there in the second spot. Restarts of this track are always interesting. That bottom line works really well in turn one, but by the time you get to turns three and four, you're going to want to be on that high line. How is Brantley's car still driving? I, I don't think it's all that hard if we don't think that car is in good shape. All four tires left the ground. He nailed the wall, dude. Chet <laughs> makes dirty car. He wants to drive forward, then Ford makes a dirty car. Today's broadcast is brought to you by Honda Civic. Don't make fun of that. That's my next car. <laughs> Marcus That's CBT. is going to lead him down. There he goes with the jump straight down onto the apron. Probably not the big jump he was looking for. Usually you see Marcus getting a little bit of a better restart here. Uh, but Chaney looks like he might make that bottom lane work on the 83. A chance from is Chaney going to get that second spot from the 83. Let me clear up. No, Cheney's not going to make it to the it. second position. Nope. If he was smart, he'd let off and funnel in and had a shot, but he's going to get funneled back. You know, he's going to have to cut him off on the exit again like he did to Marcus. Oh, he gets a little bit ahead of Cheney. Oh, he does get ahead of Crum and oh, 3 and 4, and here he goes. Oh! He's going to cut him off. Oh, he got oh. loose at the bottom. Almost a massive junk. Crum going to cut right across the nose of Bobby Cheney. Cheney going to go high to make sure that David Shutt cannot get up there above him. Austin Roberts now working his way up here. Austin Roberts showed some speed in the early going. Yep, Actually, he's going to uh, cut off David Shutt on the exit next, and Shutt's going to jump down to the bottom here and look for Shutt to get passed by into the next. Shutt right there trying to make that bottom lane work in three and four, but it's not quite going to happen. Austin Roberts with the run off the corner. Connor and Anton. And gets really just, loose behind the pair. Anton just doesn't really know what the fuck's going on right now. No. He's, he's the loose shot. High on, high on crap. Austin Roberts able to stay neck and neck with David Shutt on entry. This is going to be... Connor intense. loose again behind that pair. Anton having a rough night out there. He might even get past by the number 32 of Aaron Davis. Aaron Davis can't even speak English anymore. And he's about to pass the number he four. Doesn't, he doesn't even... He doesn't even do it. He's not even alive. Oh, that's who's in the Buffalo Wild Wings car. Alex Peck in the number 59. He's worked his way up here into the top six, because that's a thing now, apparently. Uh, he's right there behind David Shutt, and he's, he's hanging up there pretty well. He was farther back earlier in the race. Peck doing a pretty good job out there in the sixth spot. But I would I would like to point out, regardless of how interesting the race is, Eric Brantley's back on pit road. Marcus Richardson in the hay, it's Nicole Ford is currently your leader, but Chance Crum has something to say about it. He's looking at the bottom here in turns one and two. Remember we uh, heard Marcus say he's going to look after his tires, and I don't think Chance has the same outlook. He wants to get out and he wants to lead a couple laps. Now, I don't know how good that's going to work out for him here in the long run, but if he can get in front of Marcus, he can kind of ride right there and just Marcus will stay right behind him. I guarantee you, you're after the same tires. Almost made it the 83 at Crum, just about got there, but not quite. Richardson manages to hold on to that first place position. Second now is Chrome. Third is Bobby Cheney. Fourth is Austin Roberts. Fifth is David Shutt. Sixth is Alex Beck. Seventh is Connor Anton. Eighth now is Aaron Davis. Ninth is Tyler Ducharme, who has been bitching about the setup all week. And apparently because uh, all week. Apparently uh, because the setup doesn't work for him, it's a bad setup, even though everyone else likes it. Lachlan McMillan in the 10th spot. 11th is Cameron Meyer right there. I don't know if he's going up turn two. Trevor Fratelli in the Beaver Buzz Energy, number 12. Oh, number buddy seven. boy, Chance Crum making a run on Marcus Richardson again, with Bobby Cheney getting loose right behind him, with Austin Roberts right behind him. Wow, top four cars it. covered by a blanket. 
Chance Crum now back to the point here at Sim Racing Authority. Lap 17 of 90 here today, folks. Crum back to the point. Richardson, we should expect him to just kind of hang back there behind the 83 of Crum. Richardson, of course, telling us he wants to take it easy on those Goodyear tires. He doesn't want to want to damage that Nicole 337 car. It's just... Do you see his paint rightly by any chance? Sadly. Isn't it beautiful? No. No. Painted by only the finest of my recent painters. Richardson right on the back bumper of Crum as they exit turn four. Two. Sorry. Martin I would be really surprised if Richardson even tries to make a move because what he said is he's going to save tires and he is uh, usually a man of his word. Oh, these guys get really close to that wall in the center of the corner three and four. That's going to be bad if one of them happens to yeah. catch what uh, I would call the stickiest wall in I race. So we have this main pack. That is your top five. David Shutt kind of falling off, but you can put three cars under a blanket here. Sixth right now is Alex oh. Beck. Seventh oh my goodness, they are racing hard for the lead. Richardson barely stuck his nose up on the high side of Crumb going into one and two. Crumb. Got a little oh. uh, racy on exit, shoved over the wall, and now it looks like Richardson's going to the back of this little five-car pack. Interesting stuff. David Schott almost trying to put a nose in between Austin Roberts and Marcus Richardson. Couldn't quite make it work. And that Travis Pastrana paint scheme fits him. Yeah, it really does. How did Travis Pastrana never have a sponsor for his entire nationwide career? Oh, wait, yeah, it's because he sucked. Travis Pastrana. He doesn't need sponsors. <laughs> well, that definitely shook up the uh, top five. Spun around a little bit. Chance Crumb got that lead that he's been wanting. And uh, Bobby Cheney is now back in front of Marcus Richardson. But I don't think that's going to stay that, like that for long. No, we see Marcus Richardson take to the apron right there to get by Bobby Cheney. Bobby Cheney, known to block people down to the apron here on the Irish service. Oh, Bobby Cheney going to go for the crossover. Richardson comes up in the middle of turn two. Cheney looking to the bottom now for three and four. Not sure how that's going to work out. Austin Roberts is right there. Oh, oh Richardson's, Richardson's the in the wall. The stickiest oh, wall on iRacing strikes again. Richardson hard into the fence. And again, he, he uh, got off the wall. He saw cars coming, panicked, and dead right at it. Richardson struggling through the drive. This changes everything. Peck looking at the bottom of Richardson. That car is wrinkled, and I guarantee you with the new high racing damage model, that thing is not going to drive very good for him. He's going to have some optional damage. Oh, yeah. Connor in, trying to push him through. Anton going to try to use uh, Richardson there as a pick to maybe gain a spot. Peck. <laughs> and in fact, he does. Anton going to get around. 59. It's Peck Richardson going to slot in now, all the way back from second to fifth. Tough break. Taking a look back through the field, and the sixth, seventh is Peck, eighth is Ducharme, ninth is Aaron Davis, tenth is Lock the McMillan, twelfth. Uh, whoa! Quite the battle for last place. Twelfth is David Fish, eleventh is Matt Simpson. I know how to count. 13th is Pertelli. Uh, 14th, we see Cameron Meyer. 15th is Brian Wartman. 16th is Randy Roberts. Meanwhile, Chance Crum has made his way into a Oh, man. I, I hate to break in here, but you need to go back to that battle between Fish and Pertelli. They are trading blows almost. They are right on each other. They were for a second. Oh, oh my God. Fish might have... Uh, Fish might uh, be uh, calling it quits here after the last, last couple hits. David Fish gonna say, fuck it, I'm not doing this. After uh, Trevor Pertelli and David Fish have you know, battle, Fish is gonna just almost grab the wall there. Um, David Fish done for the night. Could it be a fuel strategy thing? I don't know if that much damage you'd ever want to put in a green. Side by side for third place with Austin Roberts and David Shutt. Well, Shutt cleared him into what would be turn one here? I don't know. I stopped paying attention. Wait. David Shutt David hanging Shutt. out right there in the third position. Roberts is there, right? There, right? 
there's they work their way through turns. Three and four, that sounded really weird. Some of the drivers starting to complain about loose off the corner literally really bad. Bobby Cheney among them. He doesn't like the way this car developed over the run. Like I said, we were going to see if they were going to get tighter or looser over the long run. Looks like they're getting looser because they're so loose early on. They're really riding that right around the track. And I don't think uh, I don't think Bobby likes the way his car is turning out over a long run. Yeah. We see David Shutt and Austin Roberts potentially catching the number one. Marcus Richardson trying to work his way back up to the pack. Uh, might be a lost cause at this point. He's in there with the battle for the fifth spot. On the inside of the number 59, Buffalo Wild Wings machine of Alex Peck. Richardson from hero to seventh. Oh! And Richardson gets hit on the backstretch. He's going to go spinning towards the inside while the caution is out. Taking a look at the Sim Racing Authority Instant Replay. Wow. Ooh. Yeah. Uh. Looks like uh, Peck just got stuck on that wall. You know, the stickiest wall in iRacing and... Pull it down off the wall, Especially and with oh, there's a Marcus Richardson there. Around. Wow, what a shame. Peck just scrapes the wall. You know, the only reason Richardson was back there is because when he hit the wall, he dead righted it to prevent something like that from happening to others. And, uh, well, you like to be raced the same way you race others, and that's not always the way it works. Might be a good thing for Richardson. He didn't hit the, the wall that hard, necessarily. Uh, the caution was probably good for him. You can see about getting some of that damage repaired. Uh, that's, that's about the only good I can get out of it right there. Brian Wortman, your leader, going to stay out, lead a lap, hopefully, and then pit. Looks like they come off pit road in relatively the same way they came on. It's good because I wasn't watching pit lane, I was watching Brian Wortman. Yeah, Brian Wortman's gonna lead a lap, it looks like. Stay out, lead a lap, come down this time. Oh, yeah. Pretty sure I'm complaining about Arca breaking even though he wasn't involved. What are you talking about? Well, I don't know, I have a driver chat on. Play Arca break him. It was at the inside wall. I don't know. Who do we want to have a chat? Who do we want to have a chat with? Uh, let's talk to Chance Crum if he's in teeth. Get him down here and uh, let's see how he's doing. He's up there. Chance Crum, Sir Revan, and Riley Wyans up in the booth, sir. You got a copy? Yes, I do. You are the leader here today, Marcus Richardson. As if you didn't know, Marcus Richardson was uh, certainly your main competition. Falling upon some bad luck, getting involved in that last caution. Uh, do you think Bobby Cheney or maybe Austin Roberts or David Shutt could pose a threat here tonight? Yes, definitely. Uh, Bobby Cheney was actually catching me a little bit that last run, so he's definitely fast. And looking down through the lineup here, there's, there's a lot of fast cars out there that definitely be challenging for the lead here shortly. All right. uh, one thing I was uh, really interested in knowing is how is your car, you know, developing uh, over the course of the run? We heard some of the drivers complain about a loose off condition, you know, as the tar uh, the tars, the cars uh, ran through a few more lapses. Is that something you're dealing with, or is your car staying pretty neutral throughout a run? Uh, it starts off a little bit loose, but continues to get tighter and tighter. There towards the end of that run, I was getting real snug through the center and just kind of plowing off the corner. So uh, definitely going to be trying to save tires a little bit more and see if I can save a little bit more to have towards the end. All right. Okay, well, uh, great to talk to you, and uh, good luck for the rest of the race, bud. Bye, you guys. I think he said he liked it. Uh, who do we want to chat with now? We got time for another one. Maybe, uh... Let's pull Matt Simpson to the booth. Yeah, what are you thinking about right there in the back? That's what I'm thinking. User Matt Simpson, Stuart Redmond, and Riley Wines in the booth, sir. You got a copy. 
Ten four. Hanging out in the back early in the race. Is it go time yet? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm watching the NASCAR race and uh, trying not to run to the wall. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. You heard it here first, folks. Uh, Sim Racing Authority, the only place where you can watch a race and still not be last at the same time. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us. All right. I like that interview. <laughs> Uh, let's have a quick chat with Aaron Davis. Aaron Davis, how's your car? Uh, no, you have to talk to him in cat. Shitty. Meow. Meow, meow, meow. Aaron, how's hey, your car? Hey, we're going green. It's He's speaking his native language, you can choose it. He's already able to evolve. He's back to speaking his... He's starting to pick up on English, but he really doesn't like to a have questions asked in English. It really, really confounds him. Yeah, he doesn't like being put on the spot. Dude. Yep, lights are out on the pace car. Watch it duck down here. Let's see uh, what Bobby Cheney can do on the high side. First time he's going to reach on the high side of Emory Reserves, right? Here we go! Mm-hmm. Crum with the jump on the restart. Ready, Cheney, re not far behind. David Shutt, not having the best restart there. Uh, oh! As Cheney is going to get taken three wide here on the restart. And we're looking at Chance Crum right now. Let's take a look back here. Anton on the bottom three wide. Anton is going to head up to the third position. Not sure how long that one is going to last. Austin Roberts oh, right on the wow. back bumper. Oh. Bobby Cheney going way down to the bottom. Almost going to make contact with the 33 of Matt Simpson. Awful restart for Bobby Cheney. Wow. Going to go from second all the way back to at least the eighth position. Maybe ninth with Trevor Fratelli there on the outside. Connor Anton wow, up to the Chance second Crum spot now. Loving this restart. Already a half a second over Connor Anton in the second spot. And it looks like they're not done racing for it either. No, Connor Anton in the second spot, but David Shutt is going to make the move here in turns three and four. As you see Anton getting He's really loose. Up now that as you get hit off the corner. I don't know, Anton's got to deal with Oh, Austin Roberts in the bottom can't make it go three wide yet. Oh, outside three wide. Oh, they're Not three wide for second here at Sim Racing Authority TV. Connor Anton going to drive it in deep. And guess who's going to be the beneficiary of all of it? It's going to be Austin Roberts in the 77 going to move up into the second position. Ducharme put his nose in there during that battle. Anton and looks like shut still. Shut still trying to get position on Austin Roberts. He's definitely not going to get it here. He might be able to pull up and block Connor on exit, but Connor will just shoot right down to the bottom. He don't care. Oh, Ducharme going to get crazy. really loose Ducharme coming off of turn four through the grass. He's going to be able to hold on to it. Yes! Ducharme manages to hold on to the car. He's probably pissed right now. We'll be wrecking. Meanwhile, Crum now to a 1.3 second lead over second place. Crum has checked out, and it looks like Austin's starting to pull away from these two battling here. Connor's going to funnel in ahead of shot, and maybe we're going to get a chance to take our breath after that restart. And guess who's made it back to the top six? Bobby Chaney all the way back up to the sixth spot now. Aaron Davis, Davis is going to the wall coming corner. out of turn four. Scrub. Those paws must not be good for holding the wheel straight off the court. Third now, Connor Anson. Fourth is David Shutt. Fifth is good old Matt Simpson. Sixth. Bobby Cheney, 7th is Aaron Davis, and 8th is Marcus Richardson back into the 8th spot. Still some damage to the number 2, hey, it's Nicole Ford. Uh, he got at least a little bit of a fix, and it seems to be working out for him. Not going to be a complete loss to the night for Marcus Richardson. Look for Matt Simpson and Bobby Cheney to work together here after they get their tires pulled back down off after that restart and see if they make a run forward through this pack. Shut and Connor still hacking it up. There is no doubt in my mind that Matt Simpson and Bobby Cheney are two of the fastest cars on this racetrack right now. They might not be able to run Chance down, but they can easily get the last two podium spots if they get these guys in their gear. Oh, Anton going to put his nose in on the high side of the 77 of Austin Roberts. Almost a terrible, terrible incident. Austin Roberts there on the bottom line. They should see the four car get the run coming off of turn two and maybe look to the bottom in three and four. No! Maybe not. David shut right on the back bumper of Connor Anton. Almost hitting it here. Definitely three. hitting. 
He even shuts a dick, dude. Dang. Oh, it's awesome. He drives like Kurt Busch, but without the talent. <laughs> Accurate. Now, uh, Chance Crumb, as you're telling us, there's a lot of fast cars there, have a chance to beat me. He was just saying that to help us out and make the race seem more exciting. He has a 2.6 second gap in second place right now. Uh, Chance Crumb, your winner, here today on lap 40 of 90. That's the racing of 40. Oh, we're not even halfway. Anton going to the high line again yep. in the tri -oval in the 77 of Austin Province. Definitely a little bit farther in this time. Will he be able to make it work? Oh, Austin not quite clear of the number four Kraft Dinner Machine. Robert's going to get freight trained by that outside line there. Nose to tail. David Shutt is already clear as we well, work our way down the back. Say track. goodbye to the top five. Austin Roberts We're going back into that train. Here they go. Connor Anton now up to the second position. David Shutt right there hacking it up as well. And guess who's joined the party? Marcus Richardson there. You see him back there in the number pink machine. Number pink. <laughs> uh, Austin will still Bobby <laughs> Shady as you call the number pink. <laughs> Over pink machine. <laughs> and the American education system had its time. What's your favorite number? Pink. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Connor right up there in second spot in the craft and dinner machine. And David Shutt there in third spot. Matt Simpson. We asked him if it was go time. Sure, it's go time. He's able to watch the race and run around in the fourth spot here at Sim Racing Authority. Fifth is so caught on the apron. These guys are overtaking the kitty cat of Aaron David. Man, he sucks. Caution, caution. Caution's out. What happened? Cameron Meyer around on the back straightaway. Taking a look at the Sim Racing Authority instant replay. Cameron Meyer all alone right here in the 13th spot. This isn't going to be good, folks. <laughs> this isn't going to be good. Yeah, keep in mind, Cameron did have a lot of damage, and he's never liked this racetrack. And let's see, and that's He bad. did the exact same thing Brantley did. Yep. Not a hard thing to do here. You don't get on an outside wall, you pull it off, and the yep. setup does not have the beer grip. And just uh, around it goes. Meyer, usually a very consistent driver, usually uh, relatively speedy. Here at Sim Racing Authority TV, at least in the, in the B car. I think he's still trying to figure out that national car. But this track, it, it, he and this track just not working out tonight. And I think he'd be the first to tell you that. Well, here comes the whole field down pit road, and it looks like Connor Anton sniffing uh, Chance Crumb's ass. That's hot. Look for Marcus Richardson to do that same two tire bat uh, gamble he did earlier. I made a mistake. My pit lane camera is outside of the racetrack still. Uh, don't worry. We'll get back to pit lane here shortly, folks. Um, Richardson pulls down. Right sides go up. Right sides come down. And looks like he's going to take four tires, regardless of what he told us earlier. Close Taking battle off pit lane. It's going to be, lane. looks like, Crumb, Anton, shut. Cheney Simpson, and then bringing up the end of that, Marcus Richardson, and the number pink machine, Nicole 337 Ford. <laughs> the number pink machine. Oh, man. All right, let's reset the pit lane camera. There we go. We're good now. All is well in the world. Well, who should we have a chat with now? Staying out to lead a lap, Trevor Fratelli in the number seven Beaver Buzz Machine. Well, good for him. Gonna lap. I don't think anybody's going to have a chance to not lead a lap this from the back here tonight unless everybody uh, starts staying out. Pretty much. Now, regardless of the damage, I wouldn't count Marcus Richardson out. Um, of the entire race here. He might not be able to contend on the level of Chance Crumb, but no. I guarantee you we no. still got plenty of speed here to for sure. give some of these guys a run for their money, like um, Ducharme and Simpson and Chaney even. You know, the guys are they're fast guys, but, you know, Marcus Richardson is in, in a different league, especially when it comes to Kansas. Let's talk with Connor Anton, shall we? Crab Connor Anton, we see you right there running in the second spot. Um, mm -hmm. You were just mm -hmm. kind of hanging 
hanging out in the top five there for a little bit. Fighting a loose race car there uh, a couple of runs ago, but now we see in the second spot. Do you think you can keep that number four, Kraft and Dinner Ford, up there tonight? Uh, bud? Uh, uh, hello? Yeah, hey, what's up, bro? Uh, you gonna pull your Ethernet cable? Uh, how's it going? Yeah. You won't do yeah, it. Yeah, you know. uh, do you think you'll be able to keep your car up in the top few positions here tonight? Do you think you'll be able to bring it home where you sit right now? <laughs> yeah, probably. Do you yeah, think you'll yeah, you know, be uh, able to get by the number 83 yeah. if Chance Crown and get the win? Uh, uh, probably not. Dude, I'm looking at your in-car right now, and you're even driving like a nervous wreck. What the fuck is wrong with you? Like, you're just, you're just <laughs> nervous as hell right uh, now. You almost, you almost hit the pit lane cone. You're terrible. Uh, I'm actually saving fuel right here, so... Uh, oh, really? Is fuel mile just a, is, is yeah, fuel a situation yeah. here? Really? It, it, yeah, yeah, it is. Are you guys gonna, we got like 75% fuel. It are, is right now. Are you guys going to be able to make it on fuel? Uh, you can probably only go about 40 laps, I'd say, but we might be able to stretch it, so... Who knows? Yeah, well, you better get to saving if you're gonna fucking make it, bud. What was that? <laughs> and there you go, the most confused Canadian I've ever known. Jesus Christ, what is wrong with him? There are problems with that kid. Oh, yeah. Uh, and you're talking. Yeah, um. So weird. Like, I mean, wow, why would they have pictures like on, uh, Much Morgan Shepard. Chance Crumb saving fuel. Connor saving, saving fuel. fuel. Shut doesn't know what fuel is. Um, Cheney's in second, second year. Fuel, who care? Matt's saving. Matt's not saving. Richardson's not saving. If Richardson's not saving, there's pretty much no point in saving. Pace car is off. When is Crumb gonna go? He usually goes right about now. There he goes. Green flag. You should have me racing. I'm gonna get a jump, big jump on that restart. As David Shutt and Connor Anton contend for that second spot, as Simpson taking a three wide. David Shutt may have clear the number four machine. Yes, he will coming off on turn two. That's gonna open the door for the number 33 of Matt Simpson to get in there as well. Oh man, the four cars all over the 12 back bumper hitting the three. Yes, in fact he is. There it is, the number pink machine. Marcus Richardson working his way back up into the top five. It don't look now, but Chance Crum comes They're across like, the line with a six-tenth oh, of a second Roberts lead. Oh, Austin Roberts into the grass. He's going to hold on to it. He's going to come up the track, maybe. Got a little bit loose there. They were like five yep. million yep. wide right there for a while. It looks like he had a little bit of damage on his car after that last little bit of a run, so that might have uh, influenced that a little bit. Lurid slide down into the grass, but he kept uh, he kept holding it. Marcus Richardson all the way back up into the third spot in that damage number pink, McCol Nicole 337 Ford Mustang. Meanwhile, Anton. Ducharme making a move onto the outside of Matt Simpson while Bobby Cheney goes to the bottom of Connor Ant. Connor Ant on backwards. The backwards. So nervous on backwards. Ducharme trying to go three wide here. Connor's like, no way, bot. Charm down to the bottom, right on that white line. Gonna try to see if he can pull up. He's not gonna be able to do anything. They're way too soft to make that happen. They'll be lucky to pull up before him. Randy Roberts, Roberts gonna go around in the trioval. He saved it. How the fuck did he save that car? On board, Randy Roberts, coming off of turn two, four. Wow. Okay, it's a lot less impressive from his own board, but from, from outside it was really, really crazy. Meanwhile, Chance Crumb, now your leader by one second over David Chet to in the number 12 pink, yellow, blue machine. Marcus wow, Richardson. he's going that lead over a tenth of a lap for Shut, and Shut tries to hold off Richardson for the second spot. I think we'll see Richardson in that second spot here next couple of laps and it looks like he's gonna make an effort for that now as we work our way down the back straightaway. He's gonna Pass clear him before we even make it into turn three. Looks like Shut might have lifted there to let him in. I don't think Shut wanted to have to deal with racing Mark Richards, especially with a car that might be a little under uh, underperforming. He doesn't want anything to happen to him. You know it is still relatively early in this race. Yeah the battle now oh Bobby Chaney almost coming 
going down into the number 69 of Tyler Ducharme. The battle right now is for the fourth spot. Ducharme right there with a lot of them. Looking for Bobby Cheney. Connor Ant. And right looking to make it for there. three wide. Ant was thinking about it there coming off the two, but he's going to think better of it and just give Bobby Cheney a little bit of an arrow push down the back straight. Well, here it gets boring. Yep. You know, we're not we're not Fox Sports. We're not going to try to sugarcoat it. These races get horribly boring in the middle. And we don't have a debris caution button, as I said last week. We should. We should have a debris caution button. We should have a debris caution button. I guess I could throw one, but they'd probably kick me out forever. I could actually... I could probably get kicked out. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys, time. it's the wrong button. I have a macro for it. My bad. <laughs> totally, we're talking about it. Um, now it's premeditated. Yeah. And the famous words of O.J. Simpson. I have no idea if he said that. Wow, is Matt Simpson in a wall there racing with Ducharme? No, but Ducharme fell down into Matt Simpson. Wow. Taking a look at the that. Roberts family update, Austin Roberts and Randy Roberts, the two last cars on the lead lap here at Sim Racing Authority TV, brilliant run by the Roberts household. Uh, I would like to point out that Brian Wirtman's still on the lead lap and is in 12. Is he really? Yeah, he's oh, hanging shit. on the lead lap. Oh, shit. Yeah, he is. He's probably watching the race like Matt was earlier, doing a pretty damn good job of keeping that car on the racetrack. David Shutt going to get by Marcus Richardson there for the second spot. Richardson relegated to third, and Cheney. I think uh, some of that right front damage is going to be uh, a big disadvantage as the run goes on for Richardson because that tire is going to wear a little bit different and build up a lot more heat, possibly, and that's going to make that car really tight and hard, uh, hard to keep ahead of some of these guys. Doesn't mean he's going to go a whole lot slower, but that car is going to drive like just not quite there, about nine tenths of what it should be. Now you gotta wonder if Shut can start chiseling down Crumb's lead. Crumb's not wanting to get complacent. He keeps his focus all the way through the end of the race. I don't think he'll have a... I mean, you can almost guarantee it. Well, let's see here. Nope. Last time by, Crumb with a 31.429. David Shut with a 31.486. A lot closer than he has been in the last few laps, but that's still nowhere near the time he needs to have to catch him. Considering he's still losing time. Yes. In fact, the gap between the two drivers is a 2.666. Fastest lap on the racetrack last lap was from Tyler Ducharme catching up the end of that pack. Got that draft helping him. That master lock draft. Well, hang on a second. Here we see Chance Chrome with 31.573. The times are still trying to level off. Tires still falling off from the restart. And David Shot with a 31.539. So not a big difference, but it looks like the times might be starting to change over here for two of them. David Shutt be able to catch the 83 of Chance Crumb. I can't see it happening. Wow. Really Another car, player. fastest car in the last track last lap was still Ducharme. He could be working his way up to the front of this pack, believe it or not. That time by a 5.93 for Chance, a 5.68 for Shut. Shut's got something for him if he could just keep chiseling that lead down. Pretty impressive speed shown right there from Tyler Ducharme. Now, of course, David Shut and Chance Crum are running laps almost as fast without any of that master lock draft. But yes, Tyler Ducharme is going to be fastest this time as well. Now, wow, Shut lost a lot of time there. A 4.75 for Chance. He might have saw that uh, interval drop and he put the foot down. 4.75 last time by for him. 6.69 six, for Shut last time by. Lost a lot of time. Almost gives a shit about the lap time. Taking a look at the battle between turn three and four. Chaney and Richards and Chaney going to go for the crossover in turn three. Following him through is going to be uh, Ducharme. Oh, and buddy Anton. boy. Richardson into the wall. Almost into wow. Chaney in the trial, but Richardson getting frustrated. I don't think Richardson's going to be happy after this race. He does not like the way that car is handling at all. He had high hopes going into this race. He figured uh, in plastering the 33378 all over 
this car. And all might finally love it. Uh, this kind of performance out there running in second or third place. That's fourth, but cut it. Um, he almost crossed the line at third. He was second, he was second. <laughs> Ah! Uh, oh, oh, whoa! Wow! Tiger! But you charmed the fuck off in the middle of the corner. Bitch! Apologize, you charm. That would have been a very easy do it for Dale moment right there for Richardson. You charm right on the back bumper of the fourth. Connor is gonna give him a little bit of a tap, and you charm gonna head to the bottom on the exit of turn four. Twenty-six laps to go. Here in Kansas. Masters of Tyler or uh, Riley, sorry, racing, uh, racing, uh, <laughs> racing top split. Tell me, or, uh, or, or racing in general at a track like this, someone goes to the apron to uh, to get by you. As in, they are behind you coming out of turn four. Then in the middle of the trioval, you are running the bottom line, and then they go to the apron. Do you let them up? Personally, I do let them up. I I do not like that controversy at all I don't understand it I don't I mean it just you go down there and if you go down there you can go down there if you don't you don't it's your, it's your loss you know some tracks a little bit harder to go down there but a lot of guys will not let you back up one of them is Bobby Cheney Bobby Cheney Matt Simpson Austin Roberts none of those three will let you back up after you go back down there I think and they are very very adamant about that. I think my proudest achievement on the iRacing service Bobby Cheney was spawning for me at Auto Club Trucks just uh about two hours ago, Tyler Hudson <laughs> went down on the apron to get behind me in the trial and I pinned his ass down there. Now, he almost wrecked me, but either way, it was still pretty cool. <laughs> That's incredible. So, <laughs> the only side-by-side -side battle on the racetrack right now is Simpson and Ant. And, uh, looks like Simpson's got the run. Bye-bye, Connor. Jamie, Enjoy your to the wall right there at three and four. Ducharme gonna blow by him. Wow. So like I said, Ducharme showing pretty uncharacteristic speed. Ducharme bitch. Chance Crumb is gone. Oh, Chance on. still be building that lead. One second. Take a listen to some of these cars if you can. I think some of these guys you can hear them clutching it, turning that engine off. Let's see. They're all saving. All these guys are saving, saving. I can guarantee you Bobby Cheney's coming over the radio. He cannot make it. He's trying to save, but he cannot make it. Richardson's car is off. Cheney's car is off. Ducharme and Simpson got their foot down. So Richardson and Cheney are saving gas, even though Cheney was pacing in second gear. 10-4. Uh, yeah, you can definitely hear Richardson shutting off that shutting motor. Off that motor. Yep. Connor shutting it off. Shut or to Sharmar. You know, quite honestly, I don't even think Chance Crum has to worry about it. He's just gone. He could pit, come back out, and probably still be in front of these guys. He's not saving. He's driving his balls off. So you got Crum just going balls out, shut. Trying to find speed running the bottom here. That's not anything good for him. He's going to lose time at lap. Simpson's uh, probably saving. Charm probably saving. And Richardson, Cheney, Connor. Pertel, he's not. He's catching these guys who are saving. Probably one. What the fuck is wrong? <laughs> Roberts, I don't think saving. Lachlan's probably not saving. Workman's just getting around the racetrack. And then we're back around to Crumb. Still flat out. Just trying to build that lead. I think he's going to build that lead and pit. And come if back I out past the guy and save it. Even if I realized they were saving, I would stay in it. This is an only chance to bring home a really decent finish out here tonight. Uh, not having the strongest car out there for sure. I definitely think he's confused as to why Cheney's like stopped in front of him. I mean, it is certainly plausible that Fratelli could get to the front. Not necessarily the front. Oh my god. Front, he almost wrecked on her right there. I do think he has a chance to good finish if he goes out there and pits and these guys spend way too much time saving. I've seen a lot of guys do that and they're like, oh, I'm going to save and I'm going to be okay because I'm not going to pit. And they end up losing more time than they bothered to, uh, they would have bothered to pit. 
Fratelli just cutting these guys apart, carving through them, because these guys, I don't think Austin Roberts is saving either. He's just gone. I think this is a good call by Fratelli, because it's entirely possible the way these guys are racing, there could be a caution easily come out here at the end. I mean, you got Ducharm racing back there. <laughs> Austin Roberts splits the difference between Connor Anton and Tyra Ducharm splits them. Getting around him. I think he's now the same carving thing on his through line. traffic. He doesn't know what's going on. He almost runs into the back of Connor Anton. Gonna drift That's up his the country, track. Mate. And almost hit Tyler Duchar. McMillan should be nowhere near these cars, and he wouldn't be in a regular situation. McMillan going to go ahead and just say, fuck it, I am going to try to win this race. I don't care. Austin Roberts keeping his foot down, making time up on Trevor here as they uh, looks like. Whoever's in front of him gave up saving. I, I don't think Cheney's saving anymore. I don't think Shut's saving. I don't even think Simpson cares to save anymore. Chance Crumb with a meteoric 11 second lead. He could pit, come back out and still be in first. Lapping uh, looks like Brian 89 Wurman. machine of Brian Werbin here. I think Brian Werbin might have brought that car down the pit lane. There's seven, a good chance seven, he did. Seven, chance seven, he did. cycles through possibly a good call by Simpson I think everyone behind him is going to have to pit anyway no way he can make it fuel if you ask me I still sounds like Simpson's you know clutching it but he's not clutching as much as these guys so he's not uh, sacrificing so much lap time but he's still losing almost a second a lap chance chance is, is gone all these guys are still trying to save it's at this I don't point think that they're going to get much done. Probably pit, get a splash of gas, and still come out in the lead. Like, literally. Trevor and uh, Austin carving it up. Austin got past him. Austin is now in. Mr. Roberts is in fifth, and his dad, Mr. Mr. Roberts, is in thirteenth. I think he, uh, I think he came out of that last wreck with some damage or whatever he ended up doing. He's on the racetrack right now. That's for sure. I think Pertelli made the right call. Most of these guys are going to have to pit anyway. Pertelli said, fuck it, I'm going to carve through them. Get as many spots as I can. And that's going to work out for them. Because everyone is going to have to pit anyway. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, these guys were within three laps of making it, but I don't think you can save three laps of gas yeah, at a place like this. Lie. You can, but you're not going to be anywhere faster than the people who actually just bring the car down pit. Chance Crump just absolutely blistering fast. He's got a 15 second lead over Matt Simpson now. Uh, Crump, I, I think he could pit and still come out in the lead, to be honest with you. I don't think the pit lane delta is quite that short, but I definitely think that he could pit and still be a factor for a top three at least. I mean, he can come out and he can probably race these guys if he comes out anywhere here. Yeah. You're probably looking at losing something closer to you know 30 seconds almost a lap but it's getting to the point where he might be able to pass some of these guys you know you're not gonna have a lot of time it's gonna be close between matt simpson and all these guys i don't know i still think they're gonna have to pit no matter how much they save Unless i think they, they're you gonna know, have to pit no matter how much they save as well i think simpson He's been driving the balls off that. He's been clutching and trying to save just a little. That might shorten his pit stop, but he's still going to have to pit, if you ask me. Uh, David Chud trying to save. Austin Roberts looks like he said fuck it to saving. He's going to go for it. Balls to the wall. Fuel mileage racing here at some race already. TV Richardson, one of the best fuel savers around. Oh! Almost an incident there between he, Bobby Cheney, and Tyler Ducharme. Little pack of cars back here, uh, sixth or uh, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. This looks like a wreck waiting to happen. They're all safe. Well, if you'd gas. like to uh, know, it looks really boring. You know, to watch a little bit, Ooh, a little bit touching there from Ducharme. But if you want to take part in some thrilling. Really thrilling fuel mileage racing. To be able to manage your own strategy, you can join us at Sim Racing Authority TV. No, SimRacingAuthority. Watch the races and the SimRacingAuthority.com. You 
you know, hook yourself up here on iRacing, you know, we're all fairly friendly people, and if you don't suck, we're even friendlier, you know, yeah. and come run some of our Neo the Wheel races we do uh, every few weeknights and uh, race with some of these guys. We see Chance Crumb now coming up two points. Uh, some of these guys a lap down, that's uh, Bobby Cheney, Connor Ant, Marcus Richardson, Tyler Ducharme. Now they go a lap down to Chance Crumb, uh, unless they pit, or Chance pits, or is a caution. Chance is just going to blow by him on board with Chance Crumb. Yeah, Chance is going to, you know, slaughter these guys. They're probably going to leave the top lane open for him. He's just going to go. In a league of his own tonight after Richardson picked up his damage. Not even worried about saving it. In fact, he's probably going to have to pit here in the next three, four laps. But he's going to do it and come out in a pretty decent spot. Well, I am getting official word that these guys are almost a lap to the good. Really? So, they're really close. If they start pushing it, that'll go back down. But if they run this pace, they can make it to the finish. But, Chance Crumb at this point can pit and come out right with these guys. And they'll have fresh tires and just enough gas to get across the line. So, the guys are looking oh, at making Austin it. Austin Roberts bringing his car down the pit lane. The first of the takers here on pit lane is going to be Austin Roberts. The only guys that might have a chance are Simpson if he's saved enough. He's in the wall right now. Simpson if he's saved enough gas. Simpson back in the 10th Or shut if he's saved Simpson enough gas. Simpson is probably also pitted already. Simpson's back in 10th. Look for the leader to come down pit road this time by. Got word that he might be pitting this time by. Yeah, Simpson has already brought Lap that car 85. down the pit lane. He's just right there on the edge of the top 10 in the 10th spot. We're expecting Crumb to possibly pit this time by. McMillan now your second place car. Third is David Shutt. You're going to definitely want to keep the camera here on Crumb and see where he comes out in relation to these guys that are saving fuel. Because if he comes out anywhere remotely close to him, he can blow past Passing him. Passing him a couple right laps. as he goes down the pit lane is Connor Anton, Bobby Chaney, Marcus Richardson, and Tyler Ducharme. Those are the people who are good enough to make it on Fuel Crumb, working his way down the pit lane. Let's take a look at Bobby Cheney, Marcus Richardson, and Tyler Ducharme. They're working their way down the backstretch right now. Crumb has not quite made it to his number one pit box. Connor He's in pit lane now. Looks like he's going to get a splash and pulling out now. There goes Crumb. Crumb is out. Let's take a look out the gearbox. He cannot merge until the backstretch. Memory serves. That's the rule here at Sim Racing Authority. Keeping it down there. David Shutt is hey, about Apex to get by him, exit. But, Yeah, David Shutt might get by him here. David Shutt still has to bring that machine down the pit lane, I do believe. McMillan bringing his car down the pit lane as well. Crumb comes out with a handy lead. Five laps like... to go. Chance Crumb, your leader, heavily, heavily over Cheney. Richardson, Charm, and Anthony. Millen brought yep. his car down the pit lane. He's back to 10th. Chance Crumb led that lap by two thousandths of a second over David Shutt. He came down, pitted, never even lost the lead. He led every single lap since Brian the last restart. He, he saw this coming from the start. Brian Wortman in the seventh spot right now. He's not saving. He's got plenty of fuel. Chance Crumb, absolutely dominating tonight here at Kansas. They are still racing really hard for third. Bobby Cheney almost tried to door Connor right there, Ducharme and Richardson side by side. These guys are all still saving, mind you, so the urge to push is there, and they are showing unparalleled and discipline. Even more importantly, David Shunt with a five-second lead over that battle of Connor Anton, Bobby Cheney, Tyler Ducharme, and Marcus Richardson. David Shutt saving really, really hard as we come to the white flag. They're going to have to see if they can get by David Shutt for the second spot. Connor Anton going full balls to the wall. He's got a little bit of extra in that tank that he did not let them know about. He was hanging at the back of that little group earlier. He's going to go ahead and use We're coming to one to go this time by. Let's see if Connor can get past him. Shutt is like, got that car off. He might be out. Connor's going to handily pass it for second spot. Let's see if he can make it back to the line. Yeah, one more time around this plate. 
Oh, Wortman's running out of gas. Wortman's out of gas? I'm not sure he pitted. Oh, God. David Shutt now relegated to the third spot. Bobby Chaney and Tyler Ducharme are now battling to get by him. They pass him with ease. Tyler Ducharme and Bobby Chaney both going to try to make it to the line here. Crum has already passed. He is your winner. Connor Anton going to bring her home in the second spot. Third now is Bobby Chaney and Tyler Ducharme. Looks like Chaney is going to make it for a third place finish. Fourth is going to be Connor Tyler Connor Anton Ducharme. runs out across the line. Chaney out across the line. Ducharme, Ducharme out, out across the line. The line. Richardson's out of gas. Shut's wiggling across the line. Looks like Sip is going to get past him, and Richardson or Roberts is going to get past him. Ugh, David Shut, Shut coming across the line in eighth. Portelli ninth under power. McMillan tenth. That rounds out your top ten. Let's have a talk with some of our drivers. Bobby Cheney. Wait, wrong channel. You're on admin, you moron. I know. Bobby Cheney, Stuart revving up in the booth, sir. You got a copy? Yeah, ten four. Go ahead. That race looked like it was going to be a bore, but you know what? Fuel mileage kicked in, and it was an absolute nail-biter there at the end. You brought it home in the third... Wait, did you bring it home third? Wait. Yeah, you brought it home in the... <laughs> yeah, you brought it home in the third spot right there. Tell us about how you saved enough to get there. Uh, I knew on that last, uh, that last restart that we were going to be really, really close, and... So I decided I was going to go race pretty hard, you know, for the first 10 to 15 laps in there. I knew Chance was going to win either way because of his lead, and he only had to take a little bit, but uh, I just kept saving and, you know, shut the car off in the corners as much as I could. I mean, I ran out just, I was probably a quarter from the uh, finish line I ran out, but hey, I'll take it third place. Third place, certainly not too bad. A good points night there for Bobby Cheney. Connor Anton, you got a copy, sir. Brought her home in the second spot right there. We saw you uh, with the group right there, Marcus, Tyler, Bobby, and yourself. You were kind of hanging... I hate him. Chance Crumbs, Stuart Roman up in the booth, sir. You got a copy. Yes, sir. Well, you are the winner today. Not too many people had anything for you. Uh, you had about a 20-second gap there when you pitted, and you still came out as the leader. All the right strategy calls and the speed. Tell us about your race. Yeah, a uh, couple of the restarts, we able to get out to a pretty good lead. And I knew it was going to be close on fuel, but I didn't think I was going to be able to save enough and still win the race. So I just said screw it and went as hard as I could for that whole run. Uh, came up, lapped some cars, and I saw a second place shut in my uh, front, uh, what do you call it, windshield. And uh, so then I came down, took no tires, just enough fuel to make it to the end, and it worked out. Shut got right by me, but I was able to get right back by and uh, come home with the win. So overall, great race. Had fun. Congratulations. Anyone you'd like to thank, you can go for that now. Uh, i got to give a huge thanks to Clean Crawls for all their help and support. got to thank Rooney's Food and Spirits. And i got to thank Joe's Racing Products, Enforcer Clothing, and CSI Shocks. Thank you, Stuart and Riley, for broadcasting. And thanks for all the guys for putting this race together. You're welcome, and thanks to you for racing with us here at Sim Racing Authority TV. That's going to conclude our coverage here from the racetrack. You're Taking welcome. A See you guys next time. At the final results, Chance Crum, your winner. Connor Anton, second. Bobby Chaney, third. Tyler Ducharme is fourth. Marcus Richardson, fifth. Sixth is Matt Simpson, Austin Roberts, seventh, David Shutt is eighth, ninth is Trevor Bertelli, tenth is Lachlan McMillan, Wortman is eleventh, twelfth is Cameron Meyer, Randy Roberts, thirteenth, Aaron Davis, fourteenth, fifteenth is Alex Peck, Fish is sixteenth, Eric Brantley, seventeenth, Riley Wines and Stuart Redmond bringing it home, eighteenth and nineteenth, Caterham Swag, Tyler Sifford is going to be twentieth, and that is going to round out your field.